Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring and I'm here to distract you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, non-league to top league. Today we have Leicester City at home and Wolverhampton Wanderers away. Uh, since you're last with me, we've actually been doing okay. Um, as you can see, we're lying in 7th place on 10 points. Uh, a couple of disappointing results, but a couple of very good results. A uh, very good result against Everton after the Man United game, a 5-1 win. Uh, this is the disappointing one because Brentford were bottom of the table and as you can see we absolutely dominated them. Our goalkeeper played bad, their goalkeeper played good but still you would think with us completely playing like that we still would have beat them but we didn't. Um, then we had a very good day and a good result against um, Huddersfield in the cup. Then a never disappointing result with a draw against Brighton um, at home. Again I don't think we were so dominant in this one. Not we were slightly better team. Um, it's just disappointing because they were bottom of the table at the time as well. Then we played a couple of friendlies where we played quite well against Benfica and Porto. Again, I don't know if they played the strongest sides, uh, but we still won them. And then we beat Southampton in the Premier League as well. So not easy games today against Leicester. Um, we're going to play the uh, Carabao Cup game um, offline and then we'll come back for Wolves. Uh, Leicester are currently in 5th and Wolves are in 11th. So again, they're not going to be easy games today, but hopefully we are playing quite well. We may get the results that we need transfer-wise. I think since you were last with us, um, I think we've just put people out on loan. Um, I don't think there's anyone else that we've sold. Players that have come in, I think the only player that you haven't seen come in uh, is uh, Sims. He was rated higher with my scouts, so I'm a little bit disappointed because I was trying to bring him in to be a bit more of a pressing forward backup. Seems the strikers that we've got aren't quite pressing forwards. Um, if there's anyone I missed, just give me a shout in the comments. But yeah, there's not many that you, I think you've seen everyone go out, and I think you've now seen everyone who has come in. So let's get into the Leicester game. Um, hopefully we can put on a good show for you today. Uh, we are going to stick with our tiki taka tactic because that's what we've been, we've been playing as much as I know of. Um, otherwise... Why else would I have done it? Because I did save it after the Southampton game. But it, this is a uh, football manager. We probably are about to lose, even though we're in reasonably good form. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Adam Eder's playing pretty well. Uh, so as you see, we're playing our 4 3 3, which we already know and we've shown you. Um, Danny's at the moment got the goalkeeping shirt. Looks like they're on very good form as well. Uh, they're playing a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, so maybe we probably should have gone with the fluid counter-attack tactic. We're currently 7th. They're currently 5th. Liverpool are top of the table. Because uh, I think they just beat Man United 2-1. But let's get into the game um, and see how we get on today. You never know. We might be able to get a victory today um, against Leicester. Uh, we seem to have started slightly on the top. We've got the more shots. Um, but this is FM. They'll probably do one shot from this attack and score. Yep, here it comes. Oh, we'll give away a stupid penalty. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. It's not predictable at all sometimes. It is not predictable at all sometimes. So technically I'm right though. It's their first shot and it's on target and it's a goal. I was right. We've been completely on top and then it's just a typical mistake that our players seem to make. They don't seem... The computer never seems to make... The AI never seem to make mistakes like that. And we've given away a penalty even though we were on top. But hey-ho. Alright, Camacho sure have probably played down to the box. Gets it back... Um, Gives it to Chambers, back out to Manny. Manny has got the ball again. He finds Nathan, who's completely in the wrong position, but and he goes on a little run. He probably should have crossed it a bit earlier. Pressuring again then. Manny, um, I thought that was Manny then, but it wasn't. And a nice through to Adam. I think he was off. I think he was off. The right back may have played him on, but I think he was off. I think he was offside, which is annoying if he is. No, oh, he's not. He's on. So that right that their right back must have just played him on. Nice bit of play here. 
good ball from Nando. All both the I think it's the the right their right back and their right centre back. I think just played him on. Good finish there from Adam Eder. He's in good form. He scored quite a few goals for us. Oh no, he's offside. No, because I would say I would said this guy played him on. Oh, I'll take it. I've had I've had red lines against me. Um, said he there are goals. So I'll take it. I'll take it. If we're gonna have a red line for us go our way, I will definitely take that. And uh, not long left of the half. Again, I would say we've been on top, completely on top. Our XG doesn't show that. Um, and they've had a bit more possession. But I think we've been the better team. Um, Ivan needs to sort out his, sort himself out. And so does Luke. Um, so we may have to look at them as early substitutions. Um, but I'm going to say I'm happy with the performance so far. G's them up, getting out into the second half. Hopefully we can um, keep on top again. Um, and... See if we can get the winner um, for ourselves. All right up to 60th minute. Let's just shout some encouragement out. Um, it looks like there's a few players dropping off. Maybe we can make some changes. Uh, you are not having a very good game, are you? So let's take you off for Boris. Filippo is not having a very good game. So we'll bring you on. Ivan's not playing very well. So Cameron will come in and Chambers. I don't really like Andy that much. He's meant to be good, but I'll leave him on a little bit longer. Um, so, Leicester with the attack. They're going to score again, I reckon. Oh, no, Adam Eder's got it. He's going to try and run it out. He does get rid of it, but because he's the striker, there's no one up there to pass it to, which is a bit annoying. And they're just going to do nice little triangles around us and then they spread it out to the other side of the pitch and score I think I got I can tempt this feel it's gonna be gone oh, no, man he's got it go on oh, Adam you should catch up with him oh, he's hit the post oh I thought you were faster than that Adam Adam you should have got into some space to help him out there so let's encourage the guys to see if we can get find this winner uh, maybe make a couple of other changes. We'll leave it for now because we're on top. Boris can't get the ball, so Luke's got it. Nice pass into Boris. But penalty! That was a penalty, though! That was exactly the same sort of challenge! That was the same sort of challenge! That was exactly the same type of challenge. That was exactly the same type of challenge. I can't take Boris off because Boris has just come on. We have to drop you back. Um, we haven't got any other centre backs, so you'll have to come on. But you're not right foot. You're not. You're right footed, not left footed. So we're gonna have to switch you two around there. Can you play as a ball playing defender? No, you're both. You're probably both better off as just standard centre backs. Yeah. Uh, we won't put you on attack either, we'll put you on support. <sighs> Maybe leave you both on auto. Do we go on to the counter fluid tactic? I think we take Luke off as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't see what the difference between the two tackles were. They're going to score now because for some reason our team haven't had we haven't had, got the subs on. Even though I've done the changes before that kick, free free kick was taken. <sighs> All right, not a bad result. I am a bit disappointed because I think we were a slightly better team. Stats, player stats wise as well, we've got sevens, they've got no sevens. I've seen it before where I've had sevens, their team's not had, had sevens and we've lost. So, oh, I mean, they've had sevens, we've not had sevens and we've not been able to keep them to a draw. So I think we deserve the win out of that, but... And I don't see this, I really don't understand the difference between what Nathan did and their guy did in the penalty box, but... 
Um, I'm just going to say they were unlucky today. That's pissed off you, but who cares? Oh. At least we didn't lose, but I'm very annoyed because we've lost one of our better centre backs. I'm going to pale against that. No, I'm not because it was blatantly. I will, but you know what? I'm going to fine him anyway because he's been sent off. Yeah, I'm going to appeal against it because I really don't understand what the difference between their tackle and our tackle was. But it's still annoying that he, has, he is going to miss the next game and you, I guess, have to be our centre-back. But you are having a couple of bad games, so I have a little word of you. Anyway, what I did. Um, I will see you at the start of the um, Wolves game because uh, I'll play the Crystal Palace game um, offline. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back, everyone, for the second game of today's episode. Uh, sadly, we did um, get quite convincingly beat by Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup. Um, so we've only got to the third round, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping to get a bit further in the competition. Um, I tried to go with the Tiki Taka formation. Um, we were doing well. We then, out of nowhere, went 1-0 down. Um, we were completely on top of them for a while, and one a couple of the highlights, and then they countered and scored the second. Uh, so they won, They beat that us in there 2-0. Um, again, a disappointing result. So I've gone to the uh fluid um, counter-attack tactic for this one because we're away. We are predicted to apparently lose this game as well. A couple of changes is Harewood's come in. Cam uh, Cameron's come in because of Nathan's suspension. Um, and I've changed the two central midfielders because the other two aren't playing very well. Um, Boris has come in because um, Toki is not playing very well at the moment. He's a bit off form. I don't know if it's this tactic I'm playing. Also, I brought Mikel in just to give him a couple. I give him a game. Could be punished quite badly today. Can't I? I'm in that mood today where I just. I was quite happy before I saved this and came off after the Southampton game. And since I've come on, that was poor performance against Leicester and even worse performance against Crystal Palace. And I don't expect to to play well against Wolves. I just got that feeling. Um, it's just what FM's done to me since I've loaded it back up. It just it's just been a bit of a, a knob, to be truthfully honest with you. The Wolves are playing a four-two-three-one um, against our four-three-three. Um, like I said, I've told you about a couple of changes. Hopefully, we can get the win. They are below us in the table, but it does protect us to lose this game. So that's why I'm going a bit more steady because we are away from home as well. See how this goes. Um, yeah, I, I should be a bit more, a bit more happier because we've done, we're doing, we're doing quite well at the moment. Um, but I know what happens with this game. You save the game, come back onto it. Your form goes out the window, and it never comes back. Never comes back. As much as you will say, come off. I could come off now, re say, re come back on, and we won't find our form back. We'll still be just rubbish, non-stop rubbish. And here we go, one nil already. Because for some reason, my player's diving in. And I'm pretty sure I've got to stay on feet. I can't remember. Or I've got to get stuck in. But I don't think that meant you die, your players dive in. If it does, I might have to turn it off. Because I've noticed we're diving in a bit too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to lose this one as well. Even though we'll probably start coming on top. Playing better. No, we're about to go 2-0 down. This will be 2-0 now. Uh, Adam gets it. He's going to mess it up, though, isn't he? And they're going to bang in a second. I can feel it. Oh. All right. Manny with the free kick. Tries to find Ivan. Can't find Ivan. All right, back. All right, push him forward. All right, just back to Andy. He's going to mess up. Yeah, he's going to get tackled. They can slide and tackle and win the balls. But we just don't. 
and they're going to counter attack us even though we're on counter fluid and going to score a second oh my goodness me game <sighs> don't be free don't be free Freaking Harry Maguire scores. Jesus Christ, you know you're playing bad when Harry Maguire scores. This keeper is never playing again. This keeper is never playing again. We need a definitely need a goalkeeper. We need a goalkeeper and fast. Oh my goodness me, how crap have we played? We can't even score. Oh, this keeper is never playing again. 4-0. Come on, game. We were in such good form before I've reloaded. Why all of a sudden are we playing absolutely rubbish? Why are we playing absolutely rubbish? He has got to waste two substitutions now to take a centre back off and a goalkeeper off. What a waste of substitutions! You've played awful when you played really well against Crystal Palace. You, I don't know what's happened to you. You used to play amazing, and now you're not. Um, I'll just leave it as that. Show you some encouragement, now, but I expect that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna concede more. I can feel it. If anything, really, yeah, we're just going to concede more goals. Because for some reason, I'm not even getting out to that quick enough. Who, who's that to? Who is that to? Who's that cross to? <laughs> Who is that cross to? Like, seriously, who's that cross to? Who's that pass to? You had time, all the time in the world to pick out that pass. Twice. And you still poo it up. Jesus. We were not doing this before. I... Oh, we're having a never sending off. Oh, you've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking me.
I have never, never, never had four player, three players play red. I have never had three players play in the red, and I've never had a goalkeeper. Well, I've never had three players play in the red. Nearly four players play red. Never, never have had that. No matter when I've played against last season when we got battered by fucking Man City and and I think it was uh, West Ham. We got battered 5-0, I think, by Man City and lost 4-0 to West Ham. And I'm pretty sure I only had one player red. I don't think maybe even I had one player play red. To have three players play red. Jesus. Game. Come on. Why, though, when I've, since I've reloaded it, you freaking screwing me over. Absolutely screw me over. Right, let's have a look before I saved it. Before I saved it, I lost to Man United and Brentford. And that Brentford game was a joke. Since then, I have freaking got nothing. But look how many sending offs have I had. Sending off there. Sending off there. Sending off there. I didn't have a sending off, but close. Sending off there. No sending off there. And I sending off there. Why am I getting so bloody so many sending offs? Why? And why am I getting dicked all the time, game? Fucking hell. I hate swearing on this, but Jesus. Right. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I expect none of you enjoyed that, but thank you anyway.